And of all, in commodities, value is heightening the challenges of policy making among central banks in Africa. But how will the call for a new thinking address the obstacles to regulations? Channel's business editor, Bolson Omofaya, sits with the governor of the Central Bank of Kenya, Patrick Njoroge, to answer these questions. When you look around the world and, and Africa, you find the central bank uh, always um, struggling to meet different challenges in the last few years have been particularly tough. So how tough really is your job of being a central bank governor? You're right. There has been a lot of uh, shocks to our economies in Africa. Mm. And a lot of this have been externally driven, so external shocks. And the first line of defense for these external shocks generally involves the central bank. Mm. And uh, this is why our work, or our, um, yeah, our work has been a lot more challenging in this more uh, troubling times. Um, 2014 was a rather, uh, actually 2015 was a very volatile year in the global markets. If you just look at the various indicators, you'd see that uh, uh, it was unprecedented in terms of the volatility. Um, 2016 definitely beat 2015. And now 2017 has already started uh, Terror. So we are in rather tough neighborhood in terms of volatility. So that's one thing, and therefore we have to deal with that in terms of, for instance, exchange rate policies, mm -hmm. in terms of uh, having adequate reserves, external reserves to protect the economy appropriately, and also other things from, say, the domestic side. So mm -hmm. as you know, our countries also have been hit by some domestic shocks. Um, maybe some of them are poor policies, um, but also other things in terms of uh, uh, internal shocks. For instance, now in Kenya and surrounding countries, we've been hit by this drought. And that is obviously significant. It has uh, impact on uh, inflation. It has also impact on uh, growth. So these are all things that we have to deal with. We are not the only uh, arm, or you say that is... Uh, uh, that, that is involved in this. So we have to coordinate with other sort of policy arms, um, fiscal in particular, uh, the, fiscal, um, the fiscal authorities. So I think it is an interesting time. Of course, there is also added on top of this, you have the financial sector, stability of that, and strengthening the stability, strengthening the financial sector in various ways. Yes, it's a busy time, but these are, these are interesting challenges to deal with. If you look at the last one, two, three years uh, and the challenges you've explained, uh, what new thinking uh, are you bringing on board to manage the external shocks with domestic volatility issues, whether it's in commodity prices or the need to approach international finance institutions, weakness in consumer demand? How are you balancing this with a new thinking? So, look, there's a new direction for central bank governors in Africa. We need to move on from what we know to what we don't know, perhaps. I think we, we sh first and foremost, we shouldn't be worried about the shocks, meaning these are, these are challenges. I mean, this is, this is why we are central bank governors. We cannot shrink at the task. Um, it may be monumentous, but uh, we have to face it. Um, I think that's the first point I would want to make. And I think I've seen a lot of courage by my peers, my colleagues, governors, the other area is, uh, the, um, is uh, cooperation. One of the big things here is just uh, working with other central banks around the country and indeed uh, around the world. And uh, I think these times call for even more cooperation, and I think we are getting that. That is one of the things that really surprised me. I didn't expect to see how deep this cooperation was. And I was uh, positively surprised uh, when, upon being uh, appointed as governor, when I saw the depth of this cooperation with, others, with other central bank governors. Um, I can pick up the phone and talk to my colleague in Tanzania. Um, I can pick up the phone and talk to my colleague in Zambia. Uh, and it isn't just about policies, it's about everything else. Uh, compare notes, 
um, at times have a joint policy on something. So I think it is, uh, it is something that, uh, is, that we have learned standing together. We are stronger than uh, each one of us separately. Uh, the other point I think which is quite clear about the governors or to the governors is that uh, we need to pursue uh, strong economic policies. So there are no shortcuts. Um, I have given this example to journalists before. Um, we know how gravity works. And if I drop my, my book, it's going to fall. And there's a certain, let's say, uh, impossibility to avoid that. And the same thing applies in, uh, in economics. You cannot take shortcuts. Um, when governments try to take certain shortcuts, it may appear to work for a limited period of time, but you know the, uh, the outcome is, in a sense, inevitable. Um, so there's that sort of, uh, in, uh, let's say, appreciation that we have to pursue uh, what we believe are positive policies. But I think, finally, which is an important element, is communication. Uh, governors now around the world, and indeed central banks, are much more now understand that uh, we need to communicate a lot more to the population.